Hi guys, I'm Zane from Zaynet Design and I'm helping you to create great websites. I help small businesses like you to grow and to have a great design. Now, great design is sometimes associated with branding and the colors you use. So we're in a part of a series here of helping you decide what color is ideal for your brand. What would you choose as a color? We mentioned previously blue is an excellent color, but closely associated with blue is purple. Purple as a color for design is a challenge. Now, I have to be honest, but there aren't that many websites where when I come to rebranding them that I choose purple as being the color to choose. Uh, unless the um, it's an obvious choice, maybe it's a luxury. Let's say, for instance, I was doing a website for a chocolate company and it was talking about luxury, then certainly purple uh, works really well for that type of thing. But on the whole, um, purple maybe is a difficult color to use. It has a royal connection, so maybe it's connected there. So here's a question for you. First of all, have you subscribed? Because if not, then make sure you do by clicking below the subscribe button and uh, also click the little alert button, the, the bell that will then make sure that if there's any more releases on this series, you'll not miss out on hearing about them. But thinking about purple, and here's a question maybe that you could put in the comments below, is when it comes to purple, I just don't get purple. That's my problem. I don't really understand it. It's a, a word, it's, it's a word or it's a color that doesn't really associate with anything for me. So what do you associate when it comes to the color purple? Let me know, put it down below. If you get it, just say, yes, I get purple. If you hate purple, put it there too. I just like to hear, I like to know what your views are on purple because for me, when I was writing and then putting together this video, I just couldn't think really of what uh, use purple has. I mean, I scraped my brain and, and growing up in the 80s, Prince, the pop star Prince, uh, used the colour purple and Purple Rain, for example. So there's a, a royalty connection there because he was known as Prince, Prince, royalty, purple. I don't know. That's about all I could come up with. Maybe you've got something in mind. So let me know. Put it in the comments below. So when it comes to purple, and we've got some logos here of some common purple branding that we uh, perhaps are familiar with. Uh, we mentioned uh, if you were doing chocolate, so website, maybe a web design for a chocolate company, or if your business is involving that type of luxury, well then uh, Cadbury's has used purple for many years and it works really well. But Yahoo also, as a search engine's come along and purple has been very much one of its main features when it comes to branding. Even things like uh, Hallmark, the card shop, the Premier League uses uh, purple. Uh, Channel 4, they've used it when it comes to E4. Um, purple Bricks is one it's an estate agent that's recently started up. And again, it's kind of used almost the, the simple box that Orange used when it comes to branding. Remember when Orange released, uh, their, it just said a box with orange, the colour orange. Purple Bricks have done something quite similar there in their uh, particular um, area, their business. Uh, but they've come along really since uh, Zoopla was established and Zoopla really used purple. It was very different when it was released. Um, it was trying to compete against the right move and other estate agents. So uh, again, there's a, a similar uh, use of uh, colour there amongst estate agents and uh, online estate agents too. So whether it's the media industry, whether it's uh, job companies, uh, rental agents, they've all kind of use this idea of using purple because it probably isn't a particularly popular branding color and therefore you stand out if you use a color that no one else is using. So it's beginning to be more popular just on the basis that it's one of the few colors that people don't use. I think turquoise is probably one of the ones that's least used. So there's a top tip for you. And we don't cover turquoise in our reviews. So uh, that may be one to consider as well. A difficult color to use turquoise, but looks great. So are there any negative words associated with the color purple? Well, we'd probably say decadence, uh, maybe moodiness, uh, slightly introvert in itself, 
Um, those are perhaps words that might be connected with the colour purple. Um, but on the positive side, it's, it's considered as a, a wise colour. Uh, we've already mentioned it has that kind of feel of luxury when we think about uh, the chocolate, for example. There's a luxury there um, in that colour. Uh, we mentioned royalty. Some say with, uh, spirituality or sophistication are all areas that purple could be associated with. So hopefully that's been useful for you. If you're building your website, if you're wanting to rebrand your website and you're trying to think of a primary colour to use, purple hasn't been used for many years. In more recent years, it's become quite popular. But tell me again, mention below in the comments, whether you've used purple and it comes to your branding, whether you just get purple. Maybe you can explain to me why purple is a great colour because I've struggled when it comes to this video. But having said that, it may be the next time I rebrand, I may use purple to see whether I'm missing a trick somewhere. So I look forward to seeing your comments. Make sure you subscribe below. And thanks for listening.